Hey y'all, welcome back to our second episode of Coffee with Coco. We're back. Right. We are definitely back. And we are at a beautiful location that we are not going to tell y'all about because right. shout out to, we don't want to tell y'all where we went. <laughs> we don't have to change that for real. We're going to have to start telling people. Yeah. I'm like, with that. Like giving them props yeah. for what they gave us. Um, the coffee I'm having today is a cinnamon spice honey latte. Yes. Well, almond milk. Yes. And he's having a white chocolate dark chocolate mocha. Mm-hmm. It's kind of different, mm-hmm. but it's, it's okay. Still got the cocoa feel. Yeah. Too. And then mine has spice, so it kind of works out perfect. Yeah. But shout out to them. We may tag them just to say thank you for right. Yeah, for their service and yeah, it was amazing. They had yeah. military discount there, which you know I like that. Gotta have. Um, and also she gave us a punch card that had extra punches on it. So shout out to them. Really cool. But anyway, we don't want to be on here long because we have things to do. We still have to get product and right. stuff like that. Right. Um, but we're on a field trip today and we are getting ready to go and get more ingredients so we can be prepared for an event tomorrow. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited about that event though. Like that event, like one of our first ones. Or the it first is one. our first one. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm excited even though I won't be there. Right. But... I'm just excited that we get this opportunity to share our experience with coffee right. with everyone else. Like you said, we normally get a chance to share it with people we know. And a lot of our, our test group was right. with people we knew right. um, that drank coffee all the time. So I'm glad to see now we get to test it with like brand new people, brand new customers, right. brand new clients, and they get to experience what we want to share with mm-hmm. the world so i'm excited about that i am too i am too um it's a yoga event so shout out to them to right. cornbread yoga right uh, for giving us the opportunity opening up the door so we have what you laughing at babe? i'm laughing because i always give I, I like the fact that you you shout out the people right <laughs> i like to I be talking about what i feel you no know? no and that's okay but yeah. i just want to make sure um you know I've always wanted to be that person to give other people like a platform yeah. and space. So having someone else do it for us is special to me. Yeah. Um, so they have a block party coming up on, I was about to say on Saturday, but tomorrow yeah. from 7 to 10 at the charity bar. So there'll be yoga going on. They're having a happy hour beforehand. Um, just just go out and support. I believe the yoga is donation based. Mm. Um, they do like shout shout out, shout out to a lot of nonprofits and stuff like that. So yes. that's why I'm excited about it. But like he said, I feel excited because we get to talk to new people about our coffee and not just people who know us. Um, so yeah, it's time for the world to know. Right. That's how I feel. Also, you can uh, plug in the social media. Like if y'all plug into the Instagram. It'll be posted on there right. so y'all can pull up and just enjoy yourself. Yes. Whether you like yoga or not, mm-hmm. you check out the event. Right. They have food, they have drinks, they have community. So, yeah, you, you never know who you can meet during events like that. Um, also, we want to give a shout out to um, her name is Nika. Nika Cleaver. Yes. I am definitely going to tag her on Facebook. Yeah. But I met her, I haven't even officially met this woman face to face. I met her through someone else, reached out to her on Facebook, and it kind of went from there. So can I speak on that real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so one of my girlfriends poured into our business. Um, She gave us a donation amount so we could get to this Black Business Week event, right? Which is at the end of the month, so it's from July 31st to August 6th. So... She told us that, or one of the ladies that I met told us that there were vendor tables there that she thought would be like 50 bucks. So one of my girlfriends poured into our business and because of her pour, because of her faith and how God led her, it led me to reach out to the woman. Because to be honest with you, I would not, man, you all on my back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And lost in the home. Okay. <laughs> but I was like, hold on. Um, but if we would not have gotten that donation, I probably wouldn't have reached out to Nika just out of fear, I think. 
um but because she believed in us i was like you know what i can't let her down like let's do this so i reached out to nika and right away um she started pouring into me just even over messenger and she was like hey here's my phone number send me a text call me so the next day i texted her and she was just like i mean she replied right away and she said i'm gonna call you and this woman called and i'm telling y'all i felt like she had already seen our business yeah or already have tasted our coffee because she believed in it already um she started talking about the kingdom of god and just us working together as a community and uplifting each other and becoming millionaires you know things like that and i was like wow um so i just started writing notes so anyway the 50 dollars that was supposed to be for a vendor table what ended up happening is we ended up getting a scholarship for black business week and when i tell you the scholarship is not just to be it's not even to be a vendor That's ridiculous. it is actually to um go through class right. um so it's all day it's all week but all day uh for the classes monday and tuesday so it's morning and night but they're gonna feed us they're gonna teach us um we get to network like there's just so much going on at this event um, we'll even be able to like get together and do like the social events at night. So I'm really excited about that. But like I said, I wanted to give a shout out to Nika. Um, if you are an entrepreneur and you need someone to pour into your business, love on you. Um, yes, tell you about what's going on in San Antonio or how to even start a business. I mean, whatever you need, I feel like this woman has. Um, so I want to give a shout out to her and for the scholarship that she blessed us with. Yeah. Um, I don't know what God told her and what got her to start pouring into us the way that she did. I don't even want to tell y'all everything that she has offered for us. Um, but one, I want to thank God. Look, I sound like I'm on the awards, show, right? <laughs> Giving all honor to God right, first. Right. I want to give honor to him. Look, we are going to be getting an award one day. I want to yes, I want to give honor to him first because without God, none of this will be possible. At all. Every time we make a baby step, it seems like it's baby step. Yeah. He just keeps showing us like I got you. We God keep taking us right. We keep worrying about what we don't have, right. the money we don't have for right. this, the location we don't have for this, the people we don't have for this. But God is just like, I'm gonna get you in the door. I'm gonna give you the money you need. Like He is literally surprising us every single day and i just want to thank him for that i want to thank nika for believing in us without even meeting us yet uh i appreciate and love you um this ain't it i mean this is not it yeah. i feel like this will be a long-term friendship right between um you and coco beans but i'm excited to see this I'm hold on babe i want to finish with the shout out i also want to shout out my friend for pouring into us and believing in our business her and her husband i won't put her name out there because you know i don't want to embarrass her or whatever but no in real life i love them yes sure, sure. Mm -hmm. like, like they're good people right like and it's hard to find people like them that are genuinely good to you and right. want to see you you at your best like yes. that is for me that's priceless right and like the I, i've spent very little time around them but the amount of time that i've actually spent around them has shown me the, their character you yeah. know what i mean and the, their heart and yeah. I, I appreciate people like that yeah. and those are the type of people that i will gravitate to. right right and not just that those are the uh the people that i don't ever want to forget to bless yeah you know what i'm saying so y'all need us we got you um so i want to shout them out and i also want to shout out jackie jackie is the person who connected uh, sorry jackie i can't remember your last name i think it's brown but girl look my bad i'm gonna tag you <laughs> but i definitely want to shout her out because she was the one who also poured into our business um she does not drink coffee but she believes in um, our product just based on what I said yeah. and she was the one who connected me to Nika so thank you so much for that a lot of times people hold in the knowledge and the network and 
just everything, the opportunity. They keep the door closed because they don't want to share, but this world right. is big enough to share. Right. So I appreciate you sharing that with us and getting up to this point. I don't know what we're going to talk about on here, but um, I think you said you wanted this one to be about growth. Da, da, da. the growth, growth mindset. Yeah. 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 Okay, go ahead. Hold on, before on we that. jump into it, I just want to point out something about the Black Excellence event, right? Like, Black Business Week. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, me personally, I was excited when we got the invite to, like, mm -hmm. reach out to Nika because I was like, that's the type of event that I would want to participate in, although I had no clue what was going on. You <laughs> right. Know what I mean? But that, that was the type of event that I would want to participate in, right. that I would want to sow my time into because I feel like it, it'll really be a blessing to us and help us grow also. Right. And um, just the the opportunity to go get the knowledge is priceless right uh, because once we apply the knowledge then it opens so many doors so, right and allows us to give that knowledge to someone else exactly. too and it's just a cycle exactly and that's kingdom exactly mm -hmm. and I, I was about to say you know kingdom same for me the same word as ecosystem like we're right. building a system of economics within our own community so I'm excited about that mm -hmm. for sure for sure and yeah. uh, something that I'm I, I take a lot of pride in wanting to accomplish right mm -hmm. all right so growth mindset yeah for for me like when I think about growth mindset I I think about like where I've been mm -hmm. where I'm at and where I want to go mm -hmm. so I know that I've become a student like we always talk about being a student of outside environments right like whatever you're doing you want to be good at it so you go and be a student of that thing right but we mm -hmm. never talk about being like a student of myself like the things that i've been through the things that i've overcome the things that i've understand and how right. it's helped me grow so for me growth has to start within me you know what i mean right mm -hmm. or that i'll be good at whatever else I'm, I'm going into right how did you get to this point because you and I, we know, look, we've been on each other for a long time, for a long right? Time. Uh, eventually, we will share our story, I but I, yeah, I don't care about telling my age. <laughs> I'll be forty-four this year. Mm. Come on now, well, come on, skin. <laughs> wow. <well. laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we've been knowing each other since we were uh, both in our early twenties. Yeah. And I remember then not saying that we weren't in growing seasons or we didn't have a growth mindset, but I think at that time we didn't have the wisdom we had, right. the knowledge. Um, right. So like, can you speak on that? Like what got you to this point where you were like, you know what, it's time to grow. Yeah, yeah, I, honestly. Like when did that hit for you, I guess? For me, mm -hmm. I, I felt the start of it at 30. So like, okay. I know, I mean, it doesn't really make sense because we're in our 40s now. It right? does make sense. So it took it took 10 years to kind of develop that. Right. Okay, how do I apply this wisdom? Because at 30, it hit me, okay, I need to start doing something. I need to start being motivated. I need mm -hmm. to start, you know, progressing. And yep. so even though, like, I didn't have a whole lot of wisdom on how to, mm -hmm. I had wisdom on what not to that's gotcha. you yeah 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 so i like that i just tried to stay away from what not to do mm -hmm. and start applying myself in areas that i knew to do right so like talk about manifesting mm -hmm. like i learned that in like 32 33 right and just applying myself being a student of the item mm -hmm. or business i wanted to go into mm -hmm. but that taught me like once i got everything and lost it it mm -hmm. taught me to now be a student of me. All right. Mm. So it's like we see that, like when you say you lost it, and then from that loss, you learn something mm -hmm. and you use that as a growth mindset. And that's right. kind of where my mind goes when I think growth, mm -hmm. because, you know, they have that fixed mindset, the growth mindset. The fixed one is when you are just focused on, like, yeah being set in your ways got you we don't yeah, use yeah, yeah. uh we don't use like failures and they're not even really failures but falls mm -hmm. or stumbles mm -hmm. we don't use those as learning to grow to the next step right. it's like okay i went through this what did i learn from that how can i move forward right. and i think that's the growth mindset yeah um do you think that's something that we use now yes like in relationship i don't even want to talk business yeah like my thing is with me and him uh 
Look, I don't want to share too much on the relation part of it. <laughs> but right now we are like we have a business together. We just reunited and I'm not even going to say when, but we recently reunited. So it's like we're still going through the season of getting to know each other yep. again um because there was a big gap it's not like we knew each other but we knew each other from afar right so the, a lot of things that we went through good and bad we didn't know that about each other but it also kind of gave a this not a description of who we are but it got us to this point in life yeah um so i think now this is even though it can be hard mm -hmm. it definitely is a win for us yeah for sure like i feel like the amount of growth that we have gotten in the last few months mm -hmm. is more growth than i've gotten in a long time and i am in my 40s so how do you feel about what i appreciate you saying that mm -hmm. appreciate you saying that. yeah yeah right. um i don't know how you feel about it just that whole the idea of having a relationship having a business reuniting restoring relationship kids all that kind of stuff um, just kind of being in each other's environment. Yeah. How does that, the growth in that? I, you know what, I just, man, it's kind of hard for me to, to speak on that, right? Without giving too much. But if I keep it like really simple. And do that. Because uh, <laughs> I like, uh, please don't get too much. Yet. Right. To keep it really simple, the blessing that I've gotten from just trying, just putting one foot in front of the other mm -hmm. in, in this whole situation. Right. Uh, keeping the wisdom from before mm -hmm. and at least practicing it within us, like has allowed every area of what we came into to grow. Right. So like we went from reconnecting to gaining understanding of who each other is right. today. And then right. from there to producing business right i knew it was i knew it was good i knew it was a god thing because <laughs> i did it. <laughs> every area started to produce fruit amen yeah mm -hmm. so it was like even though we were like kind of tiptoeing in right and very tentative with one another every area started to grow mm -hmm. and flourish it wasn't like a bad growth because right, you know right. you have good growth and bad growth mm -hmm. our growth was it wasn't good. like a bacteria. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. And then we could see like the hand of God. Right. So I yeah. knew we were growing. I knew it was the right thing. And I knew it was the right type of growth. Right. So mm -hmm. I was I was extremely, extremely locked in and happy. Right. That's his side of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Not every day. Right. But, you know. For the right. Part, I mean yeah. realistically. Mm -hmm every day is not like that but that's more of his side of the story i think and i hate to say this out loud but maybe this guy is telling me mm -hmm. i think um you know over the years i have had you know different situations success you know things like that i had gotten to the point where i felt healed or i felt like you know what i am where i need to be like god has elevated me he has healed me i am here now i can start teaching people and then he came in. <laughs> and <laughs> okay. he came in and disrupted. And when I say disrupted, I don't I don't mean to say that in a negative sense. I'm saying that like sometimes we consider disruption as a bad thing, right? Right. right. But I truly believe that God will put you around people in different places to disrupt what he doesn't want. Like what his wherever he's trying to go yeah. right yeah. so he's like you know what she thinks she got it together right let me humble her real quick so it could be that or it could be god was saying you know what you have reached your growth in this but now it's time to elevate yeah. so now i have to disrupt what you already know and bring in something totally different and that's what it did for me so what i found out is that i wasn't in the growth mindset that i thought i was my thinking was very fixed when he came around. Very fixed. Because I did not think I would be breaking bread with this man again. 
So when he said it's all God, he could tell God was in it. That's how I could tell God was in it. Yeah. But even though I knew God was in it, which is also another problem. Here's a nugget. We know that God is in that situation, mm -hmm. but we want so bad to be in control right. still. Right, so God started like chipping at my heart, chipping at my mind. So my mindset started changing. Like, you know what? Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can grow from that pain that we both experienced. Mm -hmm. um, so I think once I started having that, that little light bulb go off, that's when God was like, okay, now she's hearing me. So then the growth started coming yeah. more and more. So I feel like um, that's how I kind of, I guess correlate mm -hmm. what you're saying to our relationship and to business because um, it's almost like once you open up to grow, God will present so many other things. Yeah. Like when he saw that we were both ready for this, because this season, the season with us has been one of the hardest seasons of yeah. my life. And I don't even want to call that thing a season because sometimes people think season is you think four seasons. Mm -hmm. We went through a... What you want to call that? It felt like it felt like one season, right? Mm -hmm. But with like different situations, right? That was just coming about, and I was like, "This is crazy!" Right? Like, I don't understand why it's so many things in the same season. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But I think it was God really trying to show us something. Like, mm -hmm. no, I got y'all, and I'm with y'all. So let me prove it to you now, right? So you don't guess, second guess it later. Right. And mm -hmm. so I was like, all right, I'm, I'm with that. Right. Um, from an emotional point, mm -hmm. man, like, like you already know, <laughs> like that first time, like, like that first time I felt hurt and I don't know how long, like it's been a, I can't remember a time in my life where I actually felt heard and validated right until we were on the phone that day right and it was something as simple as you speak in my language through music yeah and i kid y'all not like and uh, it's here like them waterworks just <laughs> broke and i was like like you know the tim ross i'm leaking yeah. what is y'all that's really what it was like, like. what we is were, going on like during that season we were over or during that time we were over FaceTime. Mm -hmm. A lot. A lot. We talked on FaceTime a lot. And I would do like these secret screenshots, screenshot videos. <laughs> so so you can't hear. Look, one day I'ma post that video. Oh my god. And no, it's a not. video of him <laughs> crying. And I think ooh, bird flew right over me. I think the reason why I recorded it is because I can't remember him crying. Ever. Um, he may have cried when I gave birth maybe yeah but to see how beautiful like it's something about a man who is in tune with god and his emotions who is emotionally available yeah, that broke me. and for me to see that i was even a little like what's wrong with you and i don't mean it was like a cry like like the way that i cry a lot i'll cry and then i wipe it up i'm good i'm good no it no. kept coming no. i mean it had to be like 30 minutes it was uncontrollable like, it I just, just could kept not. going and he just kept saying things. This this is a man from the hood. Like, I hate to say that. Like, our background's a little different, right? So to see this man who grew up the way that he is saying things like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. And like, <laughs> looking at the sky. And like, <laughs> he was in tune with the world. You hear me? Man. Um, but even that, I, if we hadn't got, if if there was no growth in us, we would not have experienced so many beautiful things that God has available for us yeah. in this relationship and in this business. Yeah. Um, it, it, like he's just showing the example, even with black business, mm -hmm. the fact that we have a scholarship to sit in class, That's major. you know, That's people major. would be like, I don't want to learn all day, but we do. Like we are at that point where we want to master what we're doing and God is like, okay, you're saying that you don't have a provision for it. Here you go. Here you go, son and daughter. So things like that, if you open up your mind to growth, there is so much possibility in it. Yeah. 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 I love it, man, because like I think I think we talked about this before too. In some of our past scenarios, you know, before we were connected, mm -hmm. we felt like individually we were pulling all of the weight. Right. Yeah. So I think the feeling that we got from that taught us something so that we could be better in this. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I do not feel like I'm pulling all the way. I don't right. feel like I'm putting in 12 to 16 hours by myself. A hummingbird just flew by. You know what I'm talking about? Or <laughs> <laughs> we love hummingbirds. Right. They mean something. That Perfect time. But uh, for real, it just seems like, you know, we learned something from that time where we're not, I don't feel like I'm pulling all the way. Right. And I want to make sure you don't feel like you're pulling all the way. And I don't. I yeah. don't. Which is weird because and that's this is not saying anything against no. whoever else has worked with me or I've been a partner with, however Never you want to call it, right? Yeah. Um, I had just have always been one trying to be in control of stuff because of my childhood and past, but also I just got that strong woman syndrome where it's like I'll do it myself. Like I don't have time to explain this. I'll do it myself if it's not done a certain way. I'll do it myself. But in this there's that growth where it's like, okay, where did that get me? Like pulling all the way, where did that get me? Right. It left me depleted, it left me used, it left me broke. <laughs> like it yeah. left me in so many negative situations. So what I do see with this, even though we are not exactly where we would like to be in our business and relationship, it's like, but what is the fruit of that? Like you said, you saw so much evidence of fruit. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Let me evaluate what balance looks yeah. like. I'm not. Yeah. Look, I'm tired, but not in the way that I was, where I was making my own self sick. Um, That's beautiful. Right. Like, in this, I've got, like, even on a personal level, like, we've grown together in relationship and business. But for myself, the amount of growth that I have for myself, just learning, even the stuff that's hard to talk about. Yeah. Learning that I do have a control issue sometimes. <laughs> things like that, uh, that I don't communicate as well as I thought. Yeah. I communicate well when I'm talking to people and helping others, mm -hmm. but when it comes to myself, I'm very closed off, I shut down. Um, sometimes I think I know it all, uh, especially when I'm not allowing God to be in the center of it. So there's so much growth in this relationship um, that's making me a better partner, a better kingdom partner. Oh, and then on the opposite side of that, I don't work well with others. Let me correct how I said that. I didn't work well with others in the past. I was a good leader. Um, and then when it was time for me to do work with others, I still had that same mindset of, I just do it myself. Or I was shut down, like, this is not really what I want. But being able to, like, grow in a relationship and then grow for yourself and then grow in in business it's like it's helping me see my strength in business um so i don't burn out in business it's teaching me how to ask for help which is very hard for me to humble myself and let my ego go and just Likewise. say i can't do Likewise. this right um so yeah and god has provided and everything that i'm seeing like god is like you know what i'm going to bring someone who can help you in that Cause I'm good with it. Like God gives me vision. Yeah. I'm a very creative person. I'm not saying that I'm not good with business, but the lingo of it mm -hmm. and how to really create generational wealth. What? Yeah. That is yeah. not something I was taught. So I feel like I said yes to God, and He said yes to me. Yeah. I'm not gonna leave you out there by yourself, right? Right. So. Like, and, and you have it. Like you have it. Like the good thing though is like for me, it has taught me patience mm. it has taught me how to be more reserved when i don't want to be like I, I don't have to yeah i don't have to have the last word anymore i don't have to always be right i don't and this is what i've learned you know right. what i mean like coming in like in our partnership i don't have to lead all the time because i value your strength so you gotta <laughs> say that again that <laughs> was so good like, like <laughs> You know, so it's I've I've learned so much. You know, just balancing out. Like I don't I don't have to lead all the time because I do value your strength, yeah. and the fact that I value it causes me to trust you in that area. Like okay, I don't have to do that. Like that creative, that whole creative piece. When you took that from me at first, I was like, oh, I oh, feel you void. had he had an attitude. Okay. I felt so void, but then I started to that I stepped back to say, okay, well, let me watch because she might be better than me. They might they might have something that i don't have right so let me just watch and listen and learn and when i did that i was like oh they're dope oh she's off the chain 
Let mm-hmm. me let me let her have that. That's let me find something else to do. Right. So, and you do it so well. I, well, well you know. do because I'm I'm always <laughs> lost. <laughs> when he start talking numbers and business, I'm like, wait, can you slow that down just a little? Think it's sexy. I appreciate it. Yeah. It took us a minute, but we got there, you know. It took yeah. so like I think I think we have the same mindset and goals toward things. Right. And we don't necessarily have to verbalize them. Mm-hmm. And it's almost as if it's almost as if God closed the gap of right. understanding for us so rapidly. Mm-hmm. So that even though we're doing the same thing, we're watching each other to figure out how to implement. Right. And it's it's almost like a married Right. You know, it's it's so easy to function like because God has created us in this way right. and brought us through the things that we have been through. Mm-hmm. So now that we're in each other's space, it doesn't feel like you're consuming my space or mm-hmm. I'm consuming yours. It feels like we're creating one together. So we're the foundation of this team. That's how yeah. I look at it. There's nothing wrong with me allowing you to shine. Like before, I used to feel like I had to be the one in the front right. because I wasn't a man if I wasn't. Mm. That's a whole nother episode because right. I want to ask the questions, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Right. I feel more of a man now saying, no, nah, babe, go and speak your voice. Mm. Go forward. Be, be free. Like I trust you to be right. free and get it done just like I would get it done. Mm-hmm. Like. So go, I want you to go forward because it's not stopping me from going forward. Right. We're adding to one another's plate. Can I tell you what that does for me? Mm. It makes me want to take humongous leaps of faith mm-hmm. because I know you have my back. And if it doesn't go a certain way, I could still run to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you're saying like you want to be in or you want it to be in lead because of manhood and stuff mm. like that. But you doing that invalidating me like that it's like i trust that if i fall i still have my man to run to yeah you know like you still the lead so i it does something it motivates me it makes me feel seen and heard it makes me feel special it makes me feel like you trust the god in me it makes me feel like you like you see something in me that i don't see sometimes so I'm like, that's the kind of business partner I want to be with. That's the kind of man I want to be with. Yeah. So I appreciate that. I do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is something that you experienced this week that you grew from? Just because you need a little space does not mean that you're rejecting me. Because a part of me misunderstood what you were trying to say, mm-hmm. and it made me feel rejected initially and unwanted, right? Right. But those were my feelings. That's not what you were actually saying. Mm-hmm. So I had to sit back and process those feelings because what you were literally saying was, hey, I need some me time. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I had to redirect that thought to say, she's not rejecting me. She just needs recover her right mm-hmm. and if you really love her you'll give her that space of time right because she's not saying she's not coming back mm-hmm. she's saying i will be back and i'll be back better mm-hmm. i need to go restore yeah it's something about that introverted life right when you're used to do you mind if I interject? Um, when you're used to having a space by yourself, um, you find these ways to like move away. So let's say I, I have an event or I have a girlfriend's weekend or whatever. My girlfriends know this. If I have a weekend with you, you probably won't hear from me for about four days. And that's because my body is literally drained. Like I take in good and bad. So it's like we can have the best weekend, but still, I still need to go back to that space with God and recharge. Yeah. So sometimes it's hard for me to verbalize that in the right way. <laughs> there, there are better ways for me to express my needs. I don't have to be 
combative. I don't have to, like, for some reason, you know, I feel like I have to stand up for myself all the time. And there's nothing wrong with standing up for yourself, but you have to know, um, you have to respect and love the people in your life, right? So I'm trying not to push people away. So if God has gifted me with a person, I need to treat that person with respect and love. Um, I did not do that this week. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I do, babe. I was sick, but I apologize for my, my lingo wasn't that easy to right. deal with. <laughs> That's another thing. If you're going if you gonna say something out your mouth, be ready for what you're gonna hear back. He didn't disrespect me, but I'm so used to him being very soft with me. When I say soft, I mean he's talked to the soft side of me. Um I wanna still be a woman. Like I I desire like in relationships to still have that feminine side. And this is my year of softness. <laughs> Amen. So I don't want someone who is barking at me or like even when I'm out of line, I still want that, babe, did you take a nap today? <laughs> did you drink See? some water? Right. It, it like brings me back. Cool. Right. It brings me back to myself. So I appreciate that you're not like that. And I recognize that um, when it's something is different and because of what I said and how I approached him, it caused a whole different side, um, a different side that I was just like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> like, I didn't know what I did, right? So yeah, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. One of the growth things that I learned is that uh, even more so, I'm not, I'm not too good to still learn. Uh, because I get in these moments, I guess, you know, being a single mother, uh, veteran, military chick, black woman, like whatever you want to call me. Um, sometimes I have that mindset where I always have to be here. God had to really humble me this week. And I had to hear some things that I did not want to hear. So once again, the way that it was said, I didn't receive it well. But the next day, God brought it back to my memory and took me somewhere to read. And um, I was like, okay, God, what are you trying to tell me? Like, I really need to listen to not how it was said, but what was said because I've heard it before. But I cannot be in control and I need to trust God more. So I'm like, okay, I'm a student again. I don't want to be this person. And that's what I told God. Like, those kind of labels, um, I was telling him. I have an issue with labels. I really do. I don't, I haven't really processed exactly where that comes from. But if someone says something about me or has this description of me that I know in my heart is not is not valid, I I freak out. Um, so instead of freaking out on him, I just went to God and I was like, okay, God, this is the word that I heard. I don't want it. Like, I don't want it, like change it. Um, but with that, I know I have to be a student again. And I have to understand that every day on this on this earth is gonna be evolving. Yeah. So I have to be open to learning something new every single day. I, I had correction this week too. Like, I'm so used to be wanting to be your recharge center, mm. meaning, I, I can tell you are depleted, so plug into me and let me recharge you. It was almost like, how you gonna be her source? Then what am I here for? And that's Ooh. how I heard it from God. And I was like, oh wow, I'm sorry God. I wasn't trying to step into your role. I apologize. I thank God for him sharing that with me, but also, you know, corrected me. Right. So there are times when you won't need to plug into me, and there's times when you will. Mm -hmm. And I have to be able to understand the difference between the two. Yeah. Well, we thank y'all for spending time with us. Don't forget to go out and support Cornbread Yoga. Mm -hmm. Go support Black Business Week. Mm -hmm. Go out and support Cocoa Beans Coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Am I missing something? 
I want to shout out uh, the Queen's Takeover podcast. Love y'all. Yes, we love y'all so much. We pray much success for you. Um, so we'll talk to y'all soon. Don't forget to keep sipping your coffee and speaking your truth. Mm. Right? right? Amen to that. Bye.